Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be answering a male reproductive system question from the November 2024 question paper. If you have not subscribed to my channel, guys, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like the video and also share it with your classmates and your schoolmates. And also please comment down below. Let us not waste time. Let us look at the question. So there was a 1.4 question, like I said, from the November 2024 question paper. The diagram below represents the front view of the human male reproductive system. So they're actually telling us what the diagram is about. And they've told us that this is a front view. So just to be safe, guys, learn both the front and the side view of the reproductive systems so that is for the male and the female but our question is asking us about the male reproductive system so the first question is asking us to give the letter and the name of the structure that forms part of both that forms part of both the urinary um, that's for uh, producing and releasing urine and also the reproductive system. Um, so this is easy. I think the most obvious answer will be C because C is the urethra, which is basically where urine will pass through to go to the exterior or outside. And also this is where semen will obviously pass through. So urine for the urinary system and semen for the reproductive system. But I think in the memo, they also accepted D, which is the penis. Because I think we find the urethra obviously in the penis. So the most obvious answer is C for urethra. But D was also taken. D um, for the penis. Okay. So marked independently. You get a mark for the letter and mark for the name. Mark for the letter, mark for the name. Obviously if you answered C... It will go with urethra or D with penis. Okay. Uh, then let's go to the second one. The letter and the name of the structure that stores sperm temporarily. This one is obvious. There is the structure that's the epididymis. So the letter is B and the structure epididymis. I wonder how you guys pronounce this one. I wonder. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I guess it doesn't matter as long as the spelling is correct. All right, the next question. Am I choosing the right color? Yeah, the next question. The letter and the name of the structure that secretes hormone testosterone. So that is E, that will be the testes. E, then testes. Remember, guys, if you have any questions for me, please leave them on the comment section. Or if you have any specific topics that you want me to cover or specific question papers that you would like me to go through, please indicate all of that information on the comments section. Another thing that you need to note, this type of a question, guys, they can either ask you for the letter only or the name only or both. Now, in our question, they've asked us for both. So please read your question. Um, I normally advise my students to read their question I think twice. If you still don't understand it, read it again up until you understand it. Okay, but also take note of time. Identify part A, that's 1.4.2. Let's identify part A. Let me scroll up. This looks like a gland. All right, this one. We know that we have three glands. Now, A is obviously the prostate gland. That is A. Prostate gland. Simple, simple. All right. Identify the type of gametogenesis that takes place in part E. I think E is the testes. Now, the type of gametogenesis, a process where gametes are formed. We know that the type of gametogenesis that takes place in males in the testes I can even take it further and talk about the geminal epithelium of the seminiferous tubules. We know that is spermatogenesis. All right. 
that's it for this question paper guys um easy peasy stuff please don't forget to comment down below subscribe like and share the video all the best for your test and exam